Hey friends, it's Danny. Welcome back to Dine at Frugal, where we make quick, easy, and budget-friendly recipes every week. On today's episode, we're making a delicious chicken Alfredo pasta recipe. That's what Matt and I are going to have for dinner tonight. Um, I want to bring you along for the ride on how I make this. It's super easy, super simple, tastes as good as what you would get in the restaurants for a fraction of the price. So without further ado, let's get started. Right over here I have some uh, salted water boiling ready to cook our pasta and then over here we have our chicken breast and inside this little glass here I have some Italian seasoning and seasoned salt. Um, as always the link to the recipe is down in the description if you want to go and click on it to get a printable version of the recipe that'll have all the quantities and everything you need down there. So. Um, all I'm going to do is season my chicken breast with the salt and, well, seasoned salt and uh, Italian seasoning. And you want to season both sides. Pasta is cooking, just cooking it to um, package directions. And I'm going to swing you over this way. And in here we have our butter and olive oil. And it's nice and frothy, so that's heated up nicely. And I'm just going to add our seasoned chicken. There we go. And all I'm going to do is cook this chicken until it is golden brown and cooked through. So once we're at that stage, I'm going to flip it halfway through and once we're at that stage, I will uh, bring you back and we'll finish off the recipe. The chicken breast is almost cooked through. It's nice and sizzly. So um, it's just about to come off. You'll see it's beautiful and golden brown and cooked all the way through. So I'm going to pull it off now. I'm going to tent it with some elf oil and then um, we're going to start our sauce. Chicken has been set to the side. We're going to get on and make our sauce. So first is first inside our um, pan. I'm going to add some butter. My hands are clean so don't worry. And then I'm also going to add heavy cream. Now, I wouldn't say this is going to be an everyday dish. It's Saturday night here for us. Um, I wanted to make something a little bit special. I also wanted to videotape this recipe for you. So that's why we're having this tonight. But it's not something we would have on the regular. <laughs> I'm just going to let this come to the boil. And we're going to let this sauce thicken up a little bit. Let me just bring you out here. I didn't realize you were so close. You do also want to reserve about a quarter of a cup to half a cup of pasta water as well. So don't forget that. So to our sauce, I am also going to add fresh minced garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and seasoned salt. Mix that through. Not Perfect. I'm going to let this gently bubble while I drain our pasta and then um, we'll come I can finish off the sauce. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir in um, our parmesan cheese, our grated parmesan. And we're going to mix that until it is smooth. What I'm going to do now is taste it just to make sure that it is seasoned to our liking um, before we go ahead and add our pasta to the sauce. This was on medium heat the entire time, not medium high. Okay. So here we have our pasta. I'm going to add that in and I'm going to coat the pasta with the sauce. That just looks absolutely delicious and I can't wait to eat it for dinner tonight. I don't need to add any of that pasta water. You only want to add a little bit of pasta water if it gets too thick. I'm not going to add any to mine. The last thing that I'm going to do is cut our chicken, set the table and we're going to eat. I'm going to serve it in a bowl. You can serve it however you like. Here we have our sliced chicken. There we go. There is chicken Alfredo pasta. Thank you so much for watching. As you can probably tell, my kitchen has been cleaned up behind me. We had dinner. It was delicious. Um, we still have some leftovers for tomorrow, which is awesome. We can have those for lunch. Um, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you go ahead and try it for yourself. As always, uh, the ingredients in a printable version, I'm not sure if I said this before, are over at my website, diamondfrugal.com. 
Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time for the next episode of Dine at Frugal. Bye.